Uh, coach, thank you very much for your time. How are you doing? I'm all in you, sir. I'm thank good, you for good. having me. Good, good, good. Hey, you are relaxed. There's a day with tomorrow, but you are just relaxed. <laughs> How that does it? No, a football match has only three eventualities. It's a loss, a draw, and a win. So uh, those are the only eventualities that can happen in a match. Uh, I hope no one <laughs> dies in a football <laughs> match. Because there, there are more serious things in life uh, than a football game. Yes, uh, the, the game tomorrow is very important. Uh, mm. You know, because of where it can put us in terms of the, the lock and the tone that it can set for us for the rest of the tournament so it's a very important game uh, for the opponents as well uh, they've got only one point on the table so they're under pressure to get a few a few points as well uh, to get their tournament uh, to a start as well so this is a third match uh, third match day so it's important that uh, teams start finding themselves now so that's why it's a very important game for us as well, uh, we don't take it for granted. We, we won the last the last game, but that's in the past. You know, that's in the past. The minute after that game, yes, the boys celebrated a little bit because, yeah, uh, they managed to score goals, which is what we we had wanted for them to do. And uh, yeah, after that, I think they realized that oh, okay, we can still be in the tournament. So it's just now to to, to maintain uh, the way we played in the last match and obviously with a, a few improvements here and there. Uh, coach, looking at, at the two games, uh, you've, you you lost the opening game against UET, you won away at, at Tux and in those two games you scored three goals and considered three goals. What do you make of these in terms of performance now in, in these two games? Yeah, uh, we looked at our performances and uh, against TUT we, we identified what went wrong. Uh, however, it was also a lesson to say there are positives to take from that match as well. We, we, we could have scored a number of goals in that match, but yeah, it's just a matter of direction, uh, tactical placement of, of the players when the, the, the two balls in the first half were crossed, you know. And uh, there's a couple of situations where tactically we should have been positioned better to score, uh, but we were not. And, and funny enough, as the players know what went wrong. so. Uh, our plan uh, works most of the time, but once in, a, once in a lifetime, you know, you have an off day. And uh, I'm hoping that that was the last off day we had because, you know, conceding two at home uh, was a bit of a, a, a tough loss to take because of the home crowd. You know, you want them behind you, you want them to, to support you all the way. But yeah, they are also human beings. They, they, they probably felt let down uh, with us not scoring. But uh, we just need to redeem ourselves as well uh, at home and uh, ensure that uh, we get results at home. You know, the, 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 they should be our foundation uh, for success, uh, the fans. But yeah, against Tux, we stuck to the game plan. You know, we just identified a few things that we needed to do in the match in order for us to score. And one of those things was stick to stick to our processes, stick to our way of playing. You know. Uh, keep going at it, you know. Keep ebbing away at, at the tax energies, you know. Uh, keep 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 going, you know. Stay focused on what uh, is your controlling, you know. And that's our game model. We just need to stay true to it. And if you look at the goals that we scored, they are all from our game model, you know. And I'm I'm quite pleased with how we score the goals because they just reinforce the way we play. They reinforce our way and they. they they bring confidence to the players to say, yeah, yeah, our way of playing works. You know, so that win was extremely important for us. Uh, Coach, in, in that game you considered first, and uh, I remember in one of our conversations you mentioned that, you know, sometimes players, uh, an event can occur in the game and they throw all the tactics out the window and it becomes something else. How did you ensure in that game that you considered first, but you still stick to what uh, you, you, you wanted to do? and do it well and end up winning the game? Yeah, far enough, uh, with our team talk uh, at halftime, uh, I did not necessarily go at the players uh, regarding their attitude or mindset or anything of the sort. That was sorted out by the captain uh, way before I even spoke to the guys. So we have a leader there, Neo, and uh, he was able to, to calm the, game, uh, the, the boys down and, and tell them that uh, it's not over. We just need to lift 
up our game and stick to our game model. And all we did was just a few tactical uh, arrangements, uh, or rearrangements, and we stuck to the game plan. And that's what we said to them, you know, keep going at it. You know, when it comes to the, the game itself, around the 60th minute, uh, before the 60th minute, before we scored the goal, the first goal, uh, you, you almost sense the feeling that, geez, again, this should not be happening to us, you know, where we are getting goal scoring opportunities, but we are not converting them, you know. And uh, that, that first goal was relief, because once that one came in, we knew that we were going to win the match. And uh, yeah, we, we just had, as I said, we just had to stick to our game plan. Because once you make too many changes in a match, uh, the players also get confused. And uh, it's, it's, it's quite difficult for them uh, to come back into the game and, and start uh, doing positive actions that contribute to the team. And uh, yeah, we just had to stay true to our way of playing and, 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 and keep focused at it. And it, it yielded results. Uh, coach, from, from what I've seen, uh, not only with this team, with the other team that you coach within the institution, is you, you, you don't really, you, 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 are, you, have, you are able to put a structure to close shop and not allow teams to easily penetrate and score goals. But in the past two games, you've considered three. Is that something of a concern to you? Uh, are you doing something special to address that? Yeah, if you look at, if you look at actually the goals that we've considered, uh, a lot of them were not really tactical mistakes. However, it was more of a concentration situation, you know. Uh, situationally, at set plays, the first goal, we should have cleared it first. You know, we should have got to the, the, the first phase of the set play. Cleared it first, instead of letting it drop in the box. And obviously, when, when it starts dropping, you're at a disadvantage, you know, because you are expecting high balls and when it drops, now you have to worry about everything else, you know. And that's what happened. The, the TT player reacted first because it bounced for him nicely. So, uh, not necessarily a tactical situation, but more a reaction situation. So, they know, they know, the players know. If you look at the second game, it's the same thing. The second goal, is, it's, it's a similar situation. Although, tactically, uh, it was because our rest defense was not organized properly. So, the players know, know that thing. So, as I said, you know, there were so many external factors with that game that uh, it, 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 it sort of ran away from us and we could have played uh, 10 more hours and we would not score a goal. You know? So there were so many external factors with that game that uh, uh, we are just glad that that game is passed and we can put it behind us, take lessons from it and, and move forward. Uh, if you look at Ducks, our mistake once again. You know? uh, I mean, uh, it's not that the, the player did not uh, did not need to make that pass inside. It's more that he did not put the right power behind the ball so that it travels properly to the goalkeeper. You know, so it's mistakes. It's mistakes. Uh, it's not necessarily uh, uh, maybe the tactical play of the opponent forcing you to do certain things. It, it was our own enforced error. And uh, yeah, we we've. we've as I said, we've, we've identified it and we, we've gone past it because it was very important for us to move past that mistake. You know, because mm -hmm. you could see once we considered that goal, uh, the player who made the mistake, you know, looked like cheese, like uh, his world uh, just fell apart. You know, but it was important for us to lift him up and and, and, and keep working and keep with positive messages to say, no, no, we'll come back, don't worry about this. And, and we, we truly did. Tomorrow, coach, it's a big one. It's the derby. <laughs> and you come against a vet side that has not won a game up to so far. So they'll want to win that game. Uh, and yourselves, you, you only picked up your first three points uh, last match day, and you want to continue with that momentum. So there are a lot of things that, you know, that, that are happening in the background that you know, might influence players mentally, it's a derby, it should be pegged. Uh, in terms of now your approach tactically and mentally in terms of players, what have you prepared for tomorrow's game? I, I know not to reveal too much, Coach. I know you have secrets that you'll unleash tomorrow, but just to give us an idea. The football game is a simple game. Uh, stick to what you've trained. Or don't try to change things too much because once you try to change things too much, you lose chemistry. You, know, you lose the, 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 the team tactical superiority when you change uh, too many players in the game. So we'll try to stick with the same team. 
we'll try to stick to the same team that we, we played uh, we, we played and finished with in tax uh, so we tried as, as, as the most important thing for us is to ensure that the chemistry is above everything else you know? uh, we always say the team must be the star and if that's one superiority that must be above all else uh, it's, it's team tactical superiority or in simple terms uh, chemistry so we we just need to play our way stay focused you know uh, play as hard as we can uh, in the way we play and yeah stick to our tactical plan stick to our 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 tactical agreements uh, for tomorrow's game uh, we know that they are also yeah, on the edge because of the, of, of the magnitude of the game the Joburg derby and the fact that they've only got one point so there's a lot to play for. We need, we want to consolidate our position on the lock, and they, they want to get on the board and ensure that uh, they, their competition starts as well. So, yeah, a very important game, which can be won psychologically on the mental side. You know, uh, it, it will be a volatile game, but it's important that uh, our, our players stay true to the way they're playing, uh, avoid all external factors, and focus on the game plan. Uh, last one, Coach. We know it's an away game, but it's just around the corner from here. Uh, what what message would you like to send to, to the UJ community? If you can, walk in numbers. Just go across, <laughs> get your tickets. Let's try to outnumber their fans. But yeah, uh, we know most, uh, they will try to give a lot more tickets to, to, to their fans, which is normal, which is how uh, the home team has actually uh, structure their, their support base but yeah we 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 shall go in there and uh, and and fight hard and we just want the the the, the uj massive uh, to to support us whether they are at res or at home or watching on tv at home all those who will travel and, and go across to uh, to the vest stadium they came in numbers at tax uh, there was about uh, close to 100 of them who came to tax and their voice was audible, you know, they supported us and uh, we, we appreciate that, you know, so across the road, uh, I'm hoping for a minimum of 300 and I know their voice will be heard. Coach, they must thank, come support us in numbers. Thank you very much, sir, and all the best for tomorrow. Only a pleasure, sir.